Hi guys, my name is Heather Anderson. Um, I blog over at latterdaystyleblog.blogspot.com and I sell Kaleidoscope Cosmetics makeup. So today I'm going to do a tutorial kind of talking about acne skin and how to um, do a full face look that's going to, you know, accentuate the good parts of your skin and kind of hide the acne and red spots. So for me, um, this is kind of what I do to help my skin look a lot more flawless than it is because I do have a lot of acne and red spots just at the bottom of my face. And um, I'm doing a few things that's really helping it clear up, which I'll talk about that in a different video. But um, for now, there's just a few things, a few little tips and tricks I've learned um, that really work for my face. So hopefully it helps you guys out. Um, just making you feel like your skin is flawless and just feeling good about your skin. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do to complete this look. This is more of a, this isn't the full foundation look. It's more of a light coverage, but it also is a flawless look. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do this. Okay guys, so starting off, I already did my eye makeup. Some people like to do that first and I just figured I'm not going to do it in this tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So um, what you want to do is obviously first wash your face, um, put any lotions on if you want and make sure they're, you know, fully in your skin and um, what is it called? Fully absorbed in your skin and your skin's like a little moist but not like soaking wet. So then I'm going to use some concealer. So I'm using a cream concealer that I make myself and just using a little brush shaped like this and this brush is from 100% or sorry, no, this one's from e.l.f. And this is only a dollar. So just using the brush, I'm just going to get a little bit of concealer. And I'm going to go over any blemishes or spots I have. And um, just really just tap it on the spot. And don't blend it out everywhere. And just use your finger to press down. And that kind of helps blend it a little bit better. So any redness as well you want to do. So like I have redness around my nose so I just go like that and then just carefully blend it in. Um, you don't want to blend it out too much. And this is more for like really pigmented spots like you don't want to like if you have like a little bit of redness like on my nose I'm just going to use powder um, this is more for like you wouldn't want to use this all over your face if you had redness you just want to go back and um, touch it on any like spots or if you have a scar Okay, so the next part, after I cover up all my blemishes, um, the next part is, this is a very different way of doing it, but I just started doing it this way, and I really like it, and I think it works really well. So you can um, do it this way, try it, and see if you like it. So then I use a little powdered brush like this, and I just go back on any of the spots and just tap it with a little bit of powder. You can use a brush like this, the loose powdered brush, or sometimes if it's a, like a little spot, I use this. So just kind of go over and any like really bright redness, just use a little bit of your concealer powder. So I'm just going to go over any like really red spots with this. This is like where you would get scarring or any just um, discoloration or if you have any freckles you want to cover up. You're not going over your whole face, you're just going over like problem areas. Which for me, it's like right around here. Okay, so then after that, I have like a big spot right there. Um, I go back with this little brush. And that's for like the little spots that are like really bad. Like for me, I have a big spot right there. And one right there that's... And that just kind of helps the um, concealer stick and stay. Okay, so after I do concealer, 
and a little bit of foundation. Like I said, it's only a little. Um, I do bronzer, which sounds really weird, but it works really, really good to cover up redness and everything. So after you do your concealer and your foundation, go back with bronzer. Now this is really odd. I don't, I don't know why this makes it look so much better, but I think it's because it blends out like any redness or anything like that. So I'm going to show you how I use bronzer to help cover up any um, acne scarring or redness, which I have a bunch of redness and acne scarring like right there. Like it's not super bad, but it bothers me. And so I'm just getting a little bit of bronzer and you just kind of go in. And once you already put on the concealer and foundation, you just kind of go in like that on the side of your face and that just contours it as well. But it also helps like blend any acne scarring or redness you have just because the brown kind of overtakes the red. But you don't want too much, obviously, just like a little. So at the bottom of your face and then obviously you can do you should do your forehead if you're doing bronzer at the bottom of your face. And again, this just helps my skin look really like flawless and a lot um, more even. Okay, so that's bronzer. And then again, I would use some blush because again, that helps um, kind of take away from like if you have scarring down here, redness down here, kind of draws your eyes up. So using a little bit of blush, again this is blush that I make myself, I'm just going to use a little because I make it really pigmented as you can see. Okay, and I should probably blend that out a little. Okay, and then the last step um, that makes your skin look really good, I know a lot of people try to stay away from um, any kind of like highlight or shimmer if they have acne. But I think that's kind of like a myth. Like you don't need to stay away from any highlight because if you put it on the right spots, it's going to make your skin look flawless. Like obviously don't put any highlight or illuminating cream or anything like that, shimmer powder. Don't put it on any place where you have problem skin, which for me it's down here. So I'm not going to put any shimmer powder down there anyways. Um, just use like a matte foundation and you'll be fine. So if you have acne on any of these places, just don't put your shimmer powder. But um, where you're putting highlighter, usually you don't have acne in those places anyways. Okay, so using, where's that? There it is. Okay, so using the same fluffy brush I use for my concealer and some of my mixing medium and some um, eyeshadow. There's quite a few. I like the vanilla color from Kaleidoscope Cosmetics. I'm just gonna go in and get the brush wet. That's the wrong color, hold on. Actually, I'm gonna use a lighter one today. Just like a light um, pink one, pink white. Um, so just get a little teeny bit of powder on there. Make sure your brush is a little wet and just dab it on the crescents of your cheek and then just blend that in. So again, if you have like really bad acne on your cheeks, I wouldn't put it there, I guess. But most people don't have it up there. So using it wet, I really prefer just because it makes it look like a cream, shimmery cream or like a dewy glow. Okay, so then other places that I actually really like to put a little bit of this shimmer powder on would be up here on the arch of your brow, which that's a common place to put um, shimmer powder. And then this is a random place, but I started doing it, I actually really like it. Just down the bridge of your nose. So like I usually just start at the tip and kind of go up a little bit. You only need a little. And then just on my cupid's bow. Okay, and then again, if you have really like flawless skin, you can do it like all over your face. You can do it on your chin, some people do. You could do it on your forehead, um, but I don't do that because sometimes I do have spots there and I don't want to like draw attention to it. Okay, so those are my tips for acne skin. Um, another tip is using makeup that has active ingredients in it. 
So I actually, when I make my foundation, I actually put in um, tea tree oil. And again, with my cover stick, I put tea tree oil in it, and that's how I treat my skin. So just use good ingredients. Mineral makeup's really good for your skin because um, you don't want to be putting or like acne causing ingredients on your skin just because that defeats the purpose of putting makeup on because it's just gonna make your skin break out. So yeah, that's the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and show you a few pictures.